Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to do a Microsoft SQL Server 2022 install on Ubuntu 2004 LTS. Well, let's get started. Here we go. Um, so here's what I have set up for you today. Um, I have on the left, I have my uh, markdown document that I created for this operation and it's on uh, GitHub and I'll drop a link to that in the video and so that you can copy and paste these pages these uh, commands easier. Uh, so that's what I have on the left-hand side of my screen today. And on the right-hand side of my screen, I am remoted into my uh, virtual machine that I have created. It's a blank virtual machine. I just installed Ubuntu on it. And uh, all the, all that's installed basically is SSH. So first things first, we're going to do, uh, we're gonna do an update. So we're gonna go ahead and just take that right here and, and go ahead and do an update. Okay, so we're gonna go through that. Boom, that's gonna read the packages. Everything's sudo. <clears throat> and then we're gonna do an upgrade if there's no, I already did this, so there's none in there, but I just wanna go through that first with you. We're gonna have a clear. First thing we're gonna to need to do is install the, the repo keys for this. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna take this and copy it and pause paste it in here boom now I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger for everybody so we can see it and uh, I will try to stay conscious of my face down here so it doesn't get in the way so that's that you move down here we're gonna register the repo now that's this command right here we just go and we get that and we copy that boom and notice that that's for Microsoft SQL Server 2022. So this is this is the new version of SQL Server. And now what we're gonna need to do is update again so that that'll pull down packages. And uh, then we're going to install SQL Server. Okay, so there we have, we're just gonna install SQL Server right there. I'm gonna let that go through its operation. And once it once it's done that, we're gonna go through the setup process. Okay, so that's that. So let's go ahead and get, get clear on that. So we'll bring it back to the top. And the next thing we need to do is the setup command. So we're gonna run this setup command and it's going to do a couple things for you. First thing is, if you notice here at the top, you're gonna to have the one through 10, which are the different versions of SQL Server that you can install. Evaluation developers, Express, Web, Standard and Enterprise, and so on and so forth. And you notice that some of these have paid versions and uh, build through Azure versions and things like that. So if you're just using this for personal use at home for whatever project you have or something small, the Express version number three is totally fine for a lot of things. You can use the evaluation and the developer one if you're just set up for development purpose and things like that. Developer one is basically like the standard one, but the right to use it in production is, is not valid. So we're gonna go ahead and just hit three and do the express version. And then it's going to ask us a couple more questions again. Do you accept the license? Yes, I do. Uh, and then we're going to enter in the SQL password. And you see this little error right here. You will notice that it didn't meet the password requirements. So there are complexity requirements that you must, must uh, meet to do this. So we're gonna do that again. And again, so that you type in the password multiple times correctly. And then it's gonna go through its little process of updating and installing and bing, bang, boom, it is installed. So it says it's installed and it's up and running. Let's go ahead and hit clear so we can get that out of the way of our visualization. Now, in my documentation, you'll see here that I'm gonna check the service stat status. So we're gonna go copy this command right here and boom. So you'll see right here, it says right here on the if is running. So this is basically showing you that it is running and how long it's been running, 24 seconds, right? Now, let's talk about ports and listening. So if you go and wanna to check to see what port's listening on, you, you're gonna to have to use some other tools. We're gonna to use net tools. So we need to install that first to check that, right? Boom, install that. 
take just a second. And then if you go here and I put this other command, <clears throat> you're going to notice what it's showing you is the ports and everything that SQL Server is listening on. So you get that 1433, which is your standard port for, for the firewall that you need to open up for a firewall, which is what we're going to do next. So this is an Ubuntu. So we're going to go ahead and set up a couple of firewall rules here. First of all, this 22, that's my SSH. I am SSH'd in this machine. And so as you're doing this and you're getting ready to turn on the, the Ubuntu firewall, you want to make sure that you allow for your SSH. So then we're going to go ahead and do the 4433, which is a, your standard port. And then there's another 4434 uh, that we need to do. And of course, now we need to enable the firewall. And so it, of course, gives you that prompt that says, hey, if you're doing SSH, this may disrupt your connection, which is why we went ahead and set up the port 22. So we're going to go ahead and hit yes on that and hit OK. And so that is done. <clears throat> next, simple server command line tools. That's what we're going to install next. And so we're going to go ahead and do that. So we copy this line right here. And that's going to get the from Microsoft the it's well, it's going to import the GPG keys for the repo. And then we're going to have to register that repo. And that's done. So when, when we're talking about these, when you're entering these in, so you must uh, take a look. If you want to take a look at how these things are work, and you're not super familiar with with Linux and Ubuntu and how that works, so you notice that etc uh, app source list. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick, and so I can just show you what that did. So let's just do a nano. Okay. So. Here's that file, and and I entered this in as uh, read only, so I don't have to worry about messing with it. But you'll see this is this is that repo package that's installed in there for this. Okay, that was done in that command. So what we need to do is update again. So we we go ahead and we query that repo to get our uh, packages. And whoops. Always important to make sure that you type it in correctly. So we're gonna clear that out one more time. And now we're gonna go ahead and install the SQL Server tools and the ODP, ODBC devs stuff. And there they are and boom. So that's gonna install that. After that's installed, what we want to do is, well, first we need to accept the license. Okay, so now I have got that installed, and so now we need to update the path. So I have that in my my uh, document here. So the first thing is first. Let's go ahead and do this one. And oh, I'm going to go ahead and clear this out so you get a little easier view of this. And then we're going to do the second one. And boom. So those are so those are going to update the uh, path and allow you to do the SQL commands easier. So next up we have, now that it's up and running and all that stuff, let's connect to it. So we come down here and I'm gonna type this in right here. And if you notice, this dash P is your password. So whatever you want for your password, right? If you leave that off, it's gonna prompt you. So boom, see it prompts me for the password. And when you get to the one prompt here, you know you're successfully in, okay? So now we're in SQL Server. We're connected through the command line tools and, and you can do dropping tables, adding tables, connecting databases, making databases and all that good stuff. I wanted you to look at this right, right here. I put in my documents if you have an existing database that you're moving over to this, that you can attach the, the M, MDF and the LDF files to it um, here. So if you want to follow, if you want to do that, it's right here to do. And uh, that'll let you to do that stuff. So there you have it. Your SQL Server is set up and running. 
all you need to do is start using it now. So you can use your SQL Server tools, uh, command line, so you can create databases, edit and update all through the command line there. You can use your external GUI tools like uh, Windows machine connecting to it, and you can, and we made sure that, that port is open to connect to it. So you're good. Now go forth and run all your data on SQL Server 2022.